In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Anaconda for deep learning. Uh, so why do we need this? Anaconda is an environment for Mac, for Windows, for Linux, where you can easily install Python and Jupyter notebooks, uh, for instance, to work with TensorFlow and Keras for machine learning, neural networks, deep learning, or PyTorch, which is uh, an alternative to TensorFlow and Keras. So the first step is download and install Anaconda from the website. So you go to anaconda.org and you go to download Anaconda and then you install the distribution for your platform. After installation, you start the Anaconda Navigator, which gives you a graphical user interface. Uh, it looks like this. Now, once you started the Anaconda Navigator, I recommend you to create a new environment. Uh, so an environment is something like a sandbox where you can install your different programs and packages that you want to use. And this has the advantage uh, in case uh, one environment gets too uh, bogged down in uh, useless packages and uh, collisions and interferences. You can simply create a new environment and start from scratch. So how do you do that? You go to the environments tab. Now you go to create and you have to name it. Let's call this deep one. So you can create deep two and deep three and so on. And now you have to decide on a Python version. I usually take the second latest. So then you click create. This takes a while. So now the environment has been installed. And what you see here is all the packages that are already installed. And you can see, for instance, that Python uh, is there and uh, pip, which is the package manager of Python. So the next step is to install TensorFlow, which includes Keras. Keras is a specific package for neural networks. And I would also recommend to, to install Seaborn, which is a visualization package. Um, you go to not installed, you select TensorFlow and you already see TensorFlow here. And now you click apply and so now Anaconda will look up which packages are required for TensorFlow and it will install all the packages that are required. So you see all these packages here are going to be uh, installed. So we're happy with this and click apply. And again, this takes a while. So once we are finished, uh, TensorFlow will appear under installed. We see it here and under not installed, it will obviously not appear. Now we said we also want to install Seaborn. As I said, it's a visualization package. Let's see what it includes. It includes pandas, which is also quite important, matplotlib. And so we are fine with this. Okay, now we have installed Seaborn and we can go to the home tab. Be sure to select the right environment. Every time you start up Anaconda Navigator, it will probably start up in the base environment. Now in this view, you select Jupyter Notebook and you see it's not installed. Here you see something like launch. So this is installed. Jupyter Notebook is not installed. So you click it to install it. This again takes a while, but only the first time. So once it is installed, it will launch instantly. So now you click on launch. And here you have a view on your uh, file system. And uh, now you can start um, creating Jupyter Notebooks. So now you should be ready to go when you start Anaconda Navigator. Just remember to switch the environment to your own environment and then launch Jupyter Notebook to start working on your machine learning project. See you in the next video.